<laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> you've been gone for like a week. Yeah. We thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been carrying this rucksack of food for like five days. Oh, so I found it at the other side of town. It's so heavy. Hallelujah, we oh. won't go hungry anymore. No. What do you have? Let's take a look. Oh. Okay, let's see. Oh. I'm so, uh, I, I haven't eaten for like five days. We got some, some bread? Of course, it's, it's heavy as hell. <laughs> uh, uh, all the bread. Oh, oh, oh look, the, the third piece of bread. I don't think this food is enough for ten people. I think you should go and scavenge again. Can I, can I just take some rest? And food first, please. No. Okay. Hello bros and gals, the time has finally come to return to State of Decay. Yeah, we both loved the previous game and felt that that was one of extremely few franchises ever that actually succeeded in creating a true to its roots kind of zombie universe. Yeah, and we were hoping that the sequel would hold on to the basic structure of the first game and that Undead Labs would not feel the urge to space out and lose the simple and grim atmosphere that the first game had. True that. Yeah. So, let's see if Undead Labs has managed to create a worthy follow-up to State of Decay. <laughs> One of the things that made the first game stand out, to me, was its well-hitting zombie atmosphere that almost no other game had got nor still had. In my opinion, if you want running zombies, cool mutation variations or high-paced slaughtering, it's not really zombies that you want, that it's monsters, right or maybe us. aliens. A zombie world should be about a world gone silent, dead and dark, a grim, hopeless and silent world. If you get all the parameters right, it will be an extremely ghastly and unforgiving world that will affect you right into your soul. But it will also be calm, the word intense in a real zombie world is not missable. But in State of Decay 2, they sort of didn't get this right. Not only does like 80% of zombies now run like new nazists instead of rotting corpses, but you always have so much to do that demands your every minute attention that it in its whole loses its charm. Maybe it is just balanced to work with core, but it should be a lot calmer when played C. Oh crap! A zombie! But, as we all know, zombies in this universe can't run. Crap. I have so much to do, but okay, I come help you. Hello, I'm here to help. 
Oh, thanks. Thank good God. I was I was out scavenging with my friends. Uh, I kind of lost them. And I, I really need to get back home. I'm so afraid. I don't really know what to do. Please help me home to my friends and base. No, no, no problem. I'll get you there. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. Okay, it's uh, that way. Yeah. yeah, let's oh. go now. Yeah. Oh, there it is, man. Thanks a lot. I wouldn't have made it without you. Really? It's like 50 meters. You could have walked this distance. Thanks a lot, man. See you. The fact that the cars now run on gas is fantastic. But the balancing choice that a full tank of gas gets you like 300 meters and takes like five hours to find is less fantastic. This is the main problem with the state of the K2. Every single try on making it more survival just makes it all tedious as the consuming is far more intense than it should be. Everything in game has durability. From weapons to facilities. Durability as a mechanic is something good, in our opinion, but it has to be rightly balanced. It should be a subtle detail in the background, not a tedious full-time job. This is another point that we do not agree with the Undead Labs. Weapons break faster than you'll find new ones, structures crumble and vehicles explode after hitting a few rotting corpses. A newly repaired tire iron will not hold together through one day of scavenging. The whole thing is just tedious. Yippee Some yes hole! Oh no! My melee weapon broke again. Sturdy, fat weapons. Really breaks fast in this game. Oh crap. Gotta find myself a new weapon. Oh, but it, lucky for me I got this knife. Well anyways. Oh no! There's another one! I better I better stealth! Can't see me while I stealth. It's The base building mechanics have been greatly increased in State of Decay 2. There are so many buildings with various functions that we can build, but still, there are no base that can hold as many as you want. Sure, sure, it's strategy and planning, with the theory of sacrifices, the wins and losses. But it's also a needle in my eye. First off, to see all these buildings that I will never be able to build. And second, to be limited to always settling down at the biggest base ground, just so I'll be able to build as much as possible. Maybe the outpost mechanic should be more like smaller home camps, where you can build one or two additional buildings. What do you say about that? One new mechanic that I don't really like, but really don't want to like either, is this new Blood Plague Zombie stuff. Undead Labs wanted to create something new and fresh, so they invented this new zombie type that has infectious bites. So if you get bitten by a Blood Plague Zombie, you may be infected and die, or turned into a Blood Plague Zombie by lore. Hmm, it kind of feels like I've heard about this before. Oh wait, it's the original zombie lore ID! So, we got this new zombie phenomenon in our zombie world. Blood Plague Zombies, that is really the exact same thing as the original zombies. They exist parallel with the other zombies in our zombie world. Good thinking there, Undead Labs. So, tell me, how did the other zombies come to exist? Are they some kind of brain-dead invasion force from outer space or something? Why not just make it so that the zombies' bites are infectious, like every other zombie fiction ever?
weird annoying details seems to be the big problem with the game. Small balancing decisions that is weirdly implemented. Like the leader of your community. If you didn't buy some magical happening, understand how it works from the start and made a bad decision. You cannot change your leader. The one you choose must die first, then you can replace him or her with a better suited one. Details like this is everywhere and kind of destroys the whole experience. I'm pressing. Yeah. They have patched this up. From the beginning I had to push like 500 buttons just to get this to work. And then when this little pop up with the, the rate this game when that came up, like, the whole game was crashing down. Th this is working really fine now. Yeah, great. The option to play in co-op with your friends is the best addition in State of Decay 2 compared to the previous one. This is a world perfect to roam together with your friends when it works. To start off, we have this multiplayer connection Xbox uh, bullshit that is pure and utter bullshit. Why use an external app location to find and connect your, with your friends? This system is messy, unstable and so not fun. It took us a lot of time getting it to work. Then we have this Microsoft Store crap that is really nothing that they should brag about. But if you play this mess and you actually have some friends, try out the co-op. It is fun. I would like a car. I'm dying! I'm, I'm going to help you! Where are you? You can't take him by yourself! I've shot him like two times now. You should be dead soon. We need some help right away! No worries. As always, I will put down anything I currently do to come help you out. Ah, uh, it's the Dora, Mikadora! Ah, uh, we would really like to have some food of you. We don't have that much left. And you will get some nice influence in return, what do you say? Sorry. But this hard piece of bread is all my whole community has to survive the rest of the month. You won't give us any food? No, we don't have any to spare. Sorry. You will be so open just to show them out here to sustain the weather and you won't give us any food. We are the little friends. And if you want to know us and say that next time, I will be your host time and leave me wait forever. Are you clear? It is a shame that so much did not live up to what we had hoped for. But this seems to be a common problem with these random hit items that introduced something new or unexpected. In short terms, we got the same game as the first, but with more problems and a couple of worthless additions. Yeah, but if Undead Labs had taken a little more time to balance it better and get the new uh, mechanics more streamlined, we could have gotten a slightly higher verdict, but due to bad balancing and a couple of really weird additions, the game got a little lower score than we had thought. Set by our horde of savage scientists and awed by all leaders of the known world, 
you give to thee our holy word is off. Six out of ten! Draw a frozen gas! Keep surviving a pretty good game to you all! Until next time!